Hello, everyone, and welcome to this end-to-end -end IBM Maximo Asset Performance Management Demonstration. I am Crystal Spriggs, and along with my Watson IOG colleagues, Paulina Thomas and Christoph Lucas, we are going to tell you the story of a problematic industrial pump. Asset Performance Management, aka APM, is a discipline that strongly complements Enterprise Asset Management, aka EAM. But whereas EAM focuses on the planning, scheduling, and execution of work related to your assets, APM's focus is more about decision support. By using recent technological advances in IoT and AI, an APM journey will typically involve these five elements. First, manage. You will need a strong EAM foundation to manage your assets and maintenance activities. We will use IBM Maximo as our EAM system during this demo. Second, connect. Enriching your asset data with IoT or weather data has become easy, and leveraging that data is very important for a successful APM journey. For this demo, we will use the Watson IoT platform and the IBM weather company data. Three, monitor. We will use the IBM Maximo Asset Health Insights, aka MAHI, to monitor asset health in real time. This platform is also fully integrated with the Watson IoT and weather data. Four, predict. With IBM Maximo's Predictive Maintenance Insights, aka PMI, we can use out-of-the-box machine learning models on our enriched ecosystem data and be able to do predictions based on our asset behavior. Along with the real-time MAHI health scoring, this is what will typically enable you to move your asset maintenance policy from a calendar-based to condition-based and ultimately a predictive-based maintenance. Finally, assist. Using both the diagnosis and Watson Natural Language Understanding capabilities of Equipment Maintenance Assistant, aka EMA, field technicians can now prepare and accelerate their asset maintenance interventions by asking questions in plain English and by finding the most likely causes of a problem based on the symptoms reported. In this demo, covering the five APM areas we just described, we will follow a day in the life of a reliability engineer, Paulina, and a field technician, Christoph, who will focus on a problematic pump called AH002. The health score of this pump will jump from fair to poor following an inspection. This will generate an alert and an investigation by the reliability engineer. It will appear that on top of a pressure issue, a prediction shows that the pump is likely to fail soon. A work order will be triggered for the technician who, prior to his intervention, will diagnose the issue and find repair guidance. Finally, post fix meter readings will be entered automatically, setting the health score of the pump back to fair. So let's start the day as our reliability engineer. Hi, this is Paulina. First, I log into Maximo and access the Reliability Engineer Work Center, also known as MAHI. When I log in first thing in the morning, I want to have a holistic view of all of the pumps that I'm responsible for. What I see here is the health summary of my nine AH00 pumps. At 63%, the average health score is good, and all my pumps are in either fair or good state. Let me focus on the AH002 pump now. This pump has a fair score of 43%, the health score that Mahi enables us to calculate, which is based on rules and formulas that we have defined, is akin to a weighted grade point average. But instead of weighing aspects of a university class, Mahi takes into consideration meter readings, weather data, and other asset-specific information like replacement cost or maintenance budget. Now I want to check if this pump's health has been stable or not recently, so I open the health and driver history. And I quickly noticed that AH002 pump has indeed had a lot of variable readings this past week. Its score has jumped several times from the 40% to the 20% range. This is concerning, 
so I ask a technician to conduct an urgent meter inspection of this pump. Hi, I am the field technician and I was just tasked to inspect pump AH2 and to record some of its meter readings. So let me conduct an inspection. Note that although I am now accessing the inspection form through a work center menu on a desktop, the following steps would typically be carried on on a mobile device, iPhone, tablet, etc. Also note that speech-to-text capabilities could allow me to execute the inspection using my voice. I now select Pump AH2 and an inspection form that was created specifically for the pump assets. These forms are fully configurable. Let's start. I enter the meter reading values I just took for pressure, for temperature and vibration, and I enter a 2 out of 5 for the observed condition because the pump appears to be overheating. Finally, I complete the inspection. Let's now switch back to Mahi to see the impact of these latest meter readings on the pump health. I reselect the pump and refresh its health score. As you can see, we observe a sudden drop in the score from 43 fair to 22% poor. As for the pressure factor contributing to the pump condition driver score, it fell to 0%, having exceeded a set threshold. This is what I call real-time health update. Before we hand over to the reliability engineer, who just received a notification to investigate the pump issue, let me mention that those meter readings that were just entered manually during an inspection could very well be automatically generated by smart meters. Here, we see how using the Watson IoT platform pump data can be simulated by creating five IoT sensor readings every minute for three pumps. As you will see later in the demo, those IoT readings can be transformed at regular intervals into real meter readings on the asset record itself. Hi, it's Paulina again. I just received a health alert regarding pump AH002. Let me have a look at what's going on. As I reopen the pump's dashboard, I notice that all meter readings that make up the pump condition score, except vibration, have turned red. I have a look at the weather data. Nothing abnormal there. Note that weather conditions can have a serious impact on assets. That is why weather history or forecast data can be used in formulas within a health driver and therefore participate to the overall health score. Now I want to do a deep dive into the meter readings. Let me first have a look at temperature. Here I can see both meter reading values in green and IoT sensor values in black. Note that the max, min, or average values of these IoT readings can be transformed into a meter reading on a regular basis. I can also drill down into any period of time. Let's look at pressure now. Similar to the temperature, I notice here that the pressure has recently gone above a threshold called upper action limit several times. Our Maximo APM solution not only allows me to set all of these limits that you see on the screen, but also allows me to create a custom conditioning monitoring rule based on that threshold. This is the rule that I made for this specific asset. If pressure for age 002 reads above 80 or below 20, automatically create a work order on a given job plan. Let's now see what type of predictions the out-of-the-box machine learning models of PMI, Predictive Maintenance Insights, can provide me with. First, the PMI tab displays a nice maintenance timeline where I can see not only work orders related to that pump, note that these are the same work orders that the condition monitoring rule created automatically, but also past failures, as well as a predicted next failure date. Moving on to the failure probability box, I see that this pump has a 71% chance of failure within the next 15 days. This is worrying and is above the average of the group of pumps. On top of that information, 
PMI also indicates what factors have the biggest influence on the prediction. Here we see that pressure, mostly, and to a lower degree, temperature, are contributors to the failure prediction. A failure con contribution analysis tree provides you with further information on which factors contributed the most to the machine learning model prediction. Next is the predicted failure date. Here I see that this pump is predicted to fail in June, two months before its next planned maintenance date. This is yet another indicator that this pump really needs an urgent maintenance and or fixed intervention. Without going into their details here, let me just mention two more machine learning models available in PMI, anomaly detection and failure probability curve. Trained on historical data that can come from IoT readings, SCADA systems, or other sources, these will provide you with yet more decision support regarding why and when you should maintain an asset or choose not to. Thanks, Paulina. Now let's see how on receipt of the work order and prior to his intervention, Christoph can use Equipment Maintenance Assistant to help him identify the possible causes of the pump issue. Hi again. Let me now use the EMA Diagnosis tool. I will first select a model that was created specifically for this group of pumps. You would typically create one model per asset class here. The system simply asks me what I have seen. Remembering my inspection, I first select the excessive temperature and motor overheat symptom, and I start the diagnostic. EMA returns a list of possible causes, but with only two symptoms reported so far, I see that the level of confidence is pretty poor. So I select more symptoms, as I now remember my inspection more acutely. Excessive pressure is one. As I add it, we can see that the list of causes is dynamically updated, with confidence levels changing. Finally, I select a fourth symptom that the investigation of the reliability engineer revealed, and now see that the system becomes really confident that the most likely cause of the pump issue is its impeller corrosion. Furthermore, I can select that cause and be provided with specific repair instructions related to it. That is what I call receiving very valuable information that will help me fix the problem. But that's not enough. On top of that diagnostic, I'd also like to know if any extra repair information could be found in historical work orders that addressed a similar issue in the past. To answer that, I launched the Work Execution Work Center. Note that as for the inspection, this would typically be used on a mobile device versus a desktop. I find and open the work order that was just assigned to me. Thanks to the Maximo integration with EMA, what I can now do is click a Seek Advice button. This triggers a small Watson search in the background, which will basically find similar work orders based on their English content. Each card that we see here corresponds to one such work order. Note that I could filter the results on only those related to the same asset class or to this pump itself. The first one on the top left actually looks very similar to my problem at hand, so I decide to view its work log, which opens on the maximal record itself. And miracle, if I look at the details here, I can see exactly how a colleague previously fixed the issue. What I can also do is look at the failure report of previous work orders. As I select this one, I see that an earlier problem called remedy already pointed to a problematic impeller. Happy with this very helpful information, I put two thumbs up on these cards, which will make the system yet better next time. As a last step before actually going on site to fix the pump, what I can also do using EMA's standalone query capabilities is ask questions in plain English related to the work. 
for instance, I can ask whether gloves or glasses are required to work on the A80 panel. This again will trigger Watson to search the corpus of information that I fed it with. This info can be any source of unstructured data like OEM manuals, websites, safety procedures, equipment specification, work orders as we just saw, and so on. Let me focus on my manuals collection. EMA has returned cards that each correspond to a document where the most likely answer to the question can be found. And it answers with a level of confidence for each. These confidence scores get updated each time the model retrains. The more thumbs up given, the stronger the confidence. Also note that it is a precise passage within the document that is shown. Moreover, when I click on the read all button, the document is opened online with that passage highlighted. With all that information that EMA provided me with, I am now ready to put my gloves on and go on fix that pump. Thanks, Christoph. As I know, you are now busy removing your gloves and glasses post-intervention, so let me summarize what you did to complete your work. After having physically fixed the pump impeller, you opened the work execution center to capture the post-fix meter readings that were requested. As the pump stopped overheating, and because it now looked good, you entered an observation condition of four. Similarly, you also entered the new pressure reading, which now fell below the problematic upper action limit. As we can see, this is yet another place on top of the inspection form or the IoT reading themselves where meter readings can be captured. These values, of course, will be reflected on the maximal pump asset record itself. Finally, you entered a comment explaining what you did, as is good practice. Paulina, now let's see how this reflects on the pump health score. Thanks, Crystal. Awesome. As I did earlier today, let me just open Mahi again to check that. I select the pump and do a refresh score. Wonderful. The health score is back to fair, with the pump condition driver turning back to green and Kristoff's latest meter readings being reflected. Nice way to end this day in the life. This concludes this IBM Maximo Asset Performance Management end-to-end -end demo. Thanks a lot for your time, and we hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.